Hercules. Hercules was a strong and brave man. He lived in Greece. The king was jealous of Hercules. People might make Hercules the king. Therefore, he wanted to get rid of Hercules. He set difficult task for Hercules to keep him away from the country so that he would not be possible threat to him, the king. Once he asked Hercules to get three golden apples, some trees were said to bear golden apples. These trees were said to be in a place called Hesperides. But no one knew the way to Hesperides. So the king thought of Hesperides. Hercules would be away for a longer period. Hercules set out on the journey. At first, he met three maidens during the journey. Hercules asked them the way to his prayers. They told him to ask the old men of the sea, but they also warned him, hold the old men of the sea tightly, otherwise he will escape. No one else knows the way. Hercules saw the old man. He was sleeping on the shore. He was looking strange. He had long hair and beard. Hercules walked to him without making any noise. Then he seized him very firmly. The old man of the sea opened his eyes. He was surprised. He changed himself into a stick. He tried to free himself from the grip of Hercules, but Hercules held him tight. Then the old man changed himself into a sea bird and then to other animals form. But he could not free himself from the clutches of Hercules because Hercules was making his clutches tightly, tighter and tighter. Finally, the old man said to Hercules, Who are you? What do you want from me? Hercules replied, I'm Hercules. Tell me the way to his words. The old man said, It is in Iceland. Go along the seashore. You will meet a giant. He will show you the way to his words. Hercules continued his journey. He met the giant. The giant was very huge and strong. He was sleeping on the shore. Hercules woke him up. The giant was angry. He struck Hercules with a club. Hercules charged at the giant. He lifted the giant and threw him down. But the giant got up immediately. He had become ten times stronger. Hercules threw him down again and again. But each time the giant was up much stronger. Then Hercules lifted the giant high up in the air. But he did not throw him down. The giant slowly lost all his strength. He now pleaded 
with the Hercules to put him down on the earth. Hercules asked him to tell the way to his prayers. The giant asked Hercules to meet at last. He told him the way to the place where Atlas was. Hercules continued his journey. He at last met Atlas. Why do you want the golden apples? asked Atlas. My king has ordered me to get him these three golden apples, said Hercules. It is a long way from here to that place. Only I can go there. Hold this guy for me. I shall get them for you, said Atlas. Hercules agreed. He held the sky on his shoulders. Atlas walked away. He was big in a short time. He put down the three golden apples at the foot of Hercules. Hercules thanked Atlas. He requested Atlas to take back the sky from him. Take back the sky, said Atlas cunningly. I have held it for a thousand years. I shall come back after another thousand years. Hercules was astonished at what Atlas told him, but he didn't express his astonishment. He recovered his senses and replied, Oh, in that case, will you please hold the sky for a little while? I shall make a bed for my shoulders to support the sky. Then I shall take back the sky from you. Thus Hercules talked very quietly. At last agreed. At last took back the sky from Hercules. Hercules immediately collected the three golden apples. He bid at last goodbye with a mischievous smile on his face. Then he walked away towards Greece, leaving at last speechless and surprised. Hercules reached his homeland Greece after many days of travel. He gave the three golden apples to the king. The king was surprised to have got the golden apples from Hercules. He was very happy. But he pretended not to have been satisfied. But he secretly, he was planning to send away Hercules, away on another previous adventure. Thanks for watching.